So what exactly is a 90 day enchantress challenge? Well, the enchantress is a female archetype. You may well have heard of the pagan triple goddess, the maiden, mother and crone. These three female archetypes represent different phases, ages or types of women. Will you not be surprised, ladies, to learn that the patriarchy or whatever has deprived us of a fourth archetype? And I think you'll agree with me that she's a really cool one. The Enchantress apparently represents the parts of life that the patriarchy finds very difficult to handle, like PMS and perimenopause. She's a ripe, mature woman coming into her full power, confident, intuitive, mysterious and sexy. The Enchantress phase of life roughly corresponds to ages 40 to 60, the autumn of the year or the premenstrual phase of your cycle. Shorn of the fluffy clouds of oestrogen, the Enchantress tolerates no bullshit. It's often seen as a time of ageing and deterioration, but actually it's a phase of amazing creative potential and the opportunity to live from the wisdom and experience that we've gained. Our value grows and deepens as we age. We become more, not less. The part of this process for me will be about re-envisioning my womb as instead of a locus of fertility and um, menstruation, more like the kind of original witch's cauldron. So I'm going to be brewing up some magical elixir of youth in that cauldron because I want to really enjoy the next 50 years on this planet. And my bad attitude has meant that I've never taken good care of my health. I only recently quit smoking. I only ever drink builder's tea. Um, I don't drink water, take my makeup off or brush my teeth at the end of the day. Quality sleep has always been an afterthought. Um, I have a lot of physical taking care of myself to make up for. So how am I going to do it? Well, I'm going to employ a daily battery of techniques and trials for the next 90 days until I turn 50 and can gratefully crack open the Prosecco. The cornerstones are going to be health, treatments, exercise, food and drink, facial exercises, bathing, lotions and potions and spirit. I'm going to be aiming for stronger bones and joints, healthier teeth, gums and heart, more balanced hormones, firmer, clearer skin and improved digestion. But I'm also going to be manifesting, brewing up natural beauty products, meditating and making rituals, engaging with my creativity and my intuition. It's not about expensive products, invasive procedures, insta-perfect photos, um, or trying to look 30 again. You know, I want to be the healthy, radiant 50-year-old me. I'm very proud of my age. I've earned it. I want to enjoy it, and it deserves respect and love. I'm doing daunted and excited by this journey and I know that posting all this stuff publicly is what's going to keep me committed and focused. I hope you'll find some things of interest in amongst all my experiments and perhaps have suggestions of your own for me to try. It's a bit of a steep technical learning curve for me as well so please bear with me. Um, I'm posting some links here underneath so you can look a little bit deeper into the Enchantress archetype and hopefully you'll find her magic as intriguing, inspiring and uplifting as I have done. If you enjoy my content, as the young people call it, please like or subscribe and share. Thank you. I'll see you tomorrow when all the fun starts.